Hello there YouTube, how are ya? So, you all know what this video's titled, yeah? Robbie Brown versus Ben Atchett. My opinion on the fight, I've just watched it. I'm not gonna diss Ben, Ben's game is to come. Right, so I'm not gonna diss Ben at all, right? Um, Robbie is a level above. Listen, the timing of Robbie's uppercut, the timing of those shots, Robbie basically is an intelligent fighter by the looks of it. He's a very intelligent lad. So he's must, he must have studied some of Ben's fights and saw that when Ben goes like this and comes in like this, his chin's wide open for a bosher and he timed them perfectly. Everyone was timed perfectly. It wasn't a massive punch, but it was right in the right place as he was coming forward. Very well timed, Robbie. Very well timed, bro. I don't know you, I've never met you. I've only just started watching. I watched your Decker fights. I've watched this one. I wish you the best of luck in the future, bro, because you want to watch, you know. You know what I mean? You've got some good timing, bro. You've got good knowledge. You like you play it like a chess game. Do you know what I mean? And you're game as fuck. Do you know what I mean? So, <laughs> Robbie, good win. Good win. For Ben, I'm not going to diss Ben. I like Ben. He's a good lad. So, I'm not going to diss him at all. He's game as fuck. He'll give him fight anybody, right? I'm going to give you some advice, Ben, right? This is my advice. Now, bear in mind, I'm not no pro fighter or anything like that. Yeah, I've never been in the ring and fought nobody. But I've had a lot of fucking street fights and I ain't lost yet, yeah? So all I'm going to say to you is this. Bro, when swinging like this with your chin down, you're an open target, bro. All they've got to do really is time something straight down the pipe. Either an uppercut or a straight right or whatever. If it comes straight down the pipe when you're on your front foot and they catch you on the way forward, Ben, you're always going to end up on your ass. Because we're all made of flesh and blood. We've all got a chin, right? You are game as fuck. And you have got a bomb on you. We all know if you connect with it, right? You can knock people out. But that should be thrown when there's an opening. You shouldn't be trying to create an open with a one bomb. Because that's not how it's going to work, bro. And that's just me being honest. Like I said, I'm no, no pro fighter or nothing. But I do kind of know how to brawl. Yeah? And I do kind of know how to fight. And I'm quite good when it comes to the knowledge of fighting. So I'm not no pro. So this is not like it's fucking a pro fighter giving you advice. This is just a normal geezer giving you advice. But I am trying to give you solid advice. Because I like you, Ben. Do you know what I mean? I know you're going to bounce back. I know you're going to have another fight. What you need to work on, in my opinion, this is my opinion, your fitness was there this time, bro. I'll tell you that. You didn't look out of breath. You didn't even look like it was phasing you. So I think you've been getting much fitter. Your stamina is much better. But if you're going to go into another fight, bro, you're going to have to learn that, listen, fat is a lot faster than whack, whack. It's a lot faster. It's a lot more direct and it leaves you in a better position to set up your one bomb. You've got to set it up. You can't expect to just land it every time you throw it. That's not the way it works. You're going to have to learn to set it up, bro. So exploit other parts of the body. This is my, this is my advice to you, Ben, right? When you go into your next fight, exploit your opponent's strong spots or where you want to hit. Don't go there. So if you want to deliver that one bomb, wherever you want to, wherever on the face you prefer to deliver it, don't even go for that spot, bro. Spend the first round going for every other part of the body with tight technique, with good jabs. Do you know what I mean? Good straight right hand, a few uppercuts, move in, move out, different angles, right? Met the guy think. And then once you can, like, like once you bring his hands into a position where you know you can land that one bomb, then throw the one bomb, Ben. Then throw it. Don't start the fight with it, yeah? Because if you come against somebody who is intimidated by your aggression, yeah, then it will work in your favour, of course, because they'll cover up. And as soon as they cover up, you can just land bombs until you land one of them. But if it's somebody like Robbie who's not intimidated, he's, been, he's, a, he's like an MMA fighter, yeah? He's just fought Decker Eggy, so he's not intimidated, right? So he's coming with his mind clear and a game plan. And he's stuck to it by the looks of things, and it's worked out for him. I mean, he is a very good fighter, Ben, right? He is levels above you, but that doesn't mean you can't be on that level. Everybody, everybody can improve, everybody can get better, right? So, Ben... All respect here for going in that ring like you always do, bro, and just going forward. All respect to that, man. Yeah, because you did what you always do. Yeah, 
grabbed hold of your pull sack, titanium spine, and I'm just going for it. I'm fucking going for it. Fair play, Ben. Yeah, <laughs> fair play. It's a good mindset to have. Yeah, good attacking mindset to have. But, and there is a big but here, brother. I think you need to just learn different punches. I think you need to learn different angles. I think you need to get a little bit more proficient when it comes to combos and certain punches and your jab, for instance. Like, stay behind that jab for as long as you can. And when you go in, bro, you cannot put your head down, Ben. You've got to be able to see where you're going. You've got to be able to see your opponent. You need to be able to see the micro switches in what they're going to do. You need to be able to see everything. And a lot of the time when you're throwing them, your head's going down to the point where you're just throwing them and trying to take the geezer's head off. Now, like I said, it will work in some circumstances, but in other circumstances, it won't. So, all respect to both fighters. Robbie, you're one to watch, bro. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Fair play. I'm looking forward to watching what you do in the future. I really, really am. I really, 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 really am. Um, those uppercuts, bro, were time to perfection. To perfection, bro. Yeah? You, bro, you step in. You know what I mean? Like, the way you was moving in and out. The way you was timing your footwork to be in the right place to deliver that punch. Very effective, bro. Very, very effective. Right? So, yeah, bro. I'll be looking forward to seeing what you do in the future, Robbie. Um, ben, I'm looking forward to seeing what you do in the future, buddy. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing where you go next with it. And this is only one loss, bro. You can bounce back from this and get plenty of wins. You know this. Uh, and my advice is only given from, you know, love, bro. It's only given from love. There's no hate in me towards you, Ben. You know this. I like you. Yeah. I've spoke to you loads of times, bro. I like you. I think you're a nice lad. Um, but I think you need to learn more technique. More technique behind your fighting is going to make you more of a complete fighter. Okay, so your cardio was on point. Your bangs, if they would have landed, Robbie might have been in trouble. If you would have landed a clean punch, don't get me wrong, it would have put Robbie on the back foot. It would put anybody, you know what I mean, of your body weight on the back foot if you land it. Because it's a big punch. You're swinging proper with it, or you're twisting them hips straight through it, bro. Trying to take man's heads clean off. Do you know what I mean? But it doesn't always work. And I do believe that it's going to be better if you set up that shot. Rather than just swinging and open that it hits, Get the opponent into a predicament where you know it's going to land. Where you know that when you do throw that fucker, it's going to land. That's just my advice to you, Ben. And like I said, there's no hate from me here, folks. And to both fighters, uh, I'm glad you both went home safe. I'm glad there was no serious fucking injuries. Um, I'm, glad you've all, I'm glad you went home safe. I hope you both got paid what was agreed to be paid. I, I hope you both got paid okay for it. Um, and good luck in the future to both of you, man. I'm looking forward to seeing where both of you go. Um, good luck in the future to both of you. And congratulations to Robbie. Congratulations on the win, Robbie. Congratulations, brother. Congratulations from Ladani G. Congratulations. Well done, bro. Well done. That's two in a row now, Robbie. That's fucking two in a row now, mate. That's fucking two in a row. It looks like I might uh, see you when I go to Valhalla, bro. It looks like when I enter Valhalla... Oh, no, I'll be waiting, actually... No, you'll, you'll enter Valhalla because you're younger than me, bro. You're not going to die before me. I'm, I'm a bit of an old chavvy. <laughs> yeah, right? So, like, yeah, I, you'll enter Valhalla and I'll be there with a, a cup of mead for you, bro. Yeah, I'll be lad. Get that down, yeah. Now, teach me some grand and fucking pound. Teach me some Brazilian jiu-jitsu, bro. <laughs> um, so, yeah, well done. Good win. Um, ben, just lift yourself back up like you always do, bro. It's, there's no shame in it at all. There is no shame in that. Because you went in there, you give a good account, you just went forward, bro. Like you always do, you just went fucking forward, Ben. It just didn't work out for you. But I do believe it was a skill difference. I think Robbie is, is actually more skilled than you, Ben. Just being honest. The heart is the same. I mean, bro, you kept getting up. You just kept getting up. You just kept bouncing up. Do you know what I mean? Can't ask for no more than that for somebody's heart. Yeah? So, trust me, bro. There's no disrespect from me here. Yeah? I'm just trying to give you some advice. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Have a good fucking day, mate. And I'll see you all on the golf course soon, innit? That's my battle right now. The fucking golf course. <laughs> Peace out, man. Peace out. Have a lovely day, everybody.